There's one. There's one. There's one, guys. Oh my gosh, just sharking, man. Just sharking, man. This spring has been filled with adventure. We have explored three states, two countries, and two Great Lakes. Both Lake Superior and Lake Huron have provided us with countless miles of remote shoreline to explore while hunting down steelhead. This week, we take you back to our hot tent camp that we've made home in the Canadian wilderness. As we continue to bushwhack through dense cedar swamps and thick river bottoms, our presence isn't left unknown as we've been constantly reminded by the gray wolf. Welcome back to another episode of Adventure Chasing. I don't know if you guys just heard that wolf. That was just a low tone howl. Wasn't too far from us either. Pretty unique being out here in the wilderness and hearing all the different animal noises. There's nothing quite as satisfying as the sound of coffee pouring in the morning at camp. Oh my gosh, especially a fresh brewed cup of coffee like this. We gotta get our we gotta get our bushwhacking energy here first, guys. Man, those hit the spot, dude. Those are gum. It has been a long winter. As the river bottom unthaws and produces runoff, steelhead aren't the only creatures who utilize the changing season. It has been months since local wildlife has seen any open water at all. Small game such as grouse, pine squirrels, and rabbits have been nestled here for months in several feet of snow. The brutally harsh environment of the northern wilderness has provided a scarce food source which leaves only the strongest to survive. I am not the only one to hunt these waters. Sleeping by day and killing by night, the presence of a large wolf pack drifts across the forest for all to hear. And they were just here. In the back of my mind, I await an encounter, but the gray wolf is flawless and rarely seen. Although our quarry is different, the vicious ghost is aware of my presence and I know with certainty that I am being watched. Fish, guys, fish, 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 fish. Oh, oh, it jumped into the tree. It jumped into the tree. Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, dude, just a thrashing run, man. I'm trying to keep it up here, guys, because if it goes down to that log, it's not going to be a good spot. Oh, my gosh, it's going down, guys. 
it's going down oh my gosh it's going underneath this tree come on baby oh shoot oh shoot oh shoot it's down below guys we gotta go for it we gotta go for it we gotta go for it oh this oh my gosh oh my gosh okay see if we can get it right here come on baby come on baby come on baby it's just a standoff right now oh my gosh come on baby come on come on come on come on with it oh my gosh just a freaking battle man oh no oh my gosh it's head oh my gosh oh, it's a blackback dimer oh I'm just freaking putting it to this thing man oh my gosh Woo! oh dude that is such a fresh chrome fish guys oh my goodness what a beautiful beautiful steely man holy cow holy mackerel look at how chrome and fresh that fish is let's get a quick look and get her right back guys but what a beautiful beautiful wild steelhead man well what an unbelievable battle that was a wild fish we're gonna return her so she can continue her journey but what a great start to the day guys that fish tore me up Wow, look at this water, guys. This is just absolutely beautiful. Nice gravel riffles, fast shoots coming down. Unreal, man, this is absolutely gorgeous. This is paradise. To me, this is paradise. It doesn't get any better than this. There's one, there's one, there's one guys. Oh my gosh, just sharking man. Can't let up right now, I wanna get on the reel. There we go, on the reel. Oh, oh my gosh, dude just tearing me up. Oh. Just putting the boots to this thing man. Holy moly. I got just a meat hook on here too, guys. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Did you see that thing fly out of that fish's mouth? I knew that was gonna happen, man. I was just putting the balls to that fish. Just popped off. All right guys, we're switching up here. We're gonna go double fly. I'm gonna go with the egg pattern. And I'm gonna go with this stone here. And we're gonna see what this does. We're gonna give them something a little bit different, something that we haven't been throwing yet. gosh guys this fish is just so so feisty oh, I'm just corking into this thing man holy moly I'm just laying into this thing trying to keep it in this hole here oh my gosh dude that's a that is a thick thick fish come on baby holy moly there we go guys oh off right there oh there she goes <laughs> just popped off right at my feet but that's okay guys we'll count that as the land we had it right on the bank and we'll count that as the land there's one there's one <laughs> guys this is another solid fish man She's on, she's on the stone, guys. 
She's on this dog. Oh, oh my gosh. Head shaking right in front of that log. Come on. Put the boots to her. Oh, she's on the stone for sure. Nice, guys. Got her, baby. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Not yet. Not yet, not yet. Okay. There we go. Woo. Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel. Oh, we got her, guys. We got her. Check that out. Beautiful fish on that chartreuse stone fly, guys. So what I've been fishing a lot here today, guys, is I've been fishing a bead and I've been dropping it with a stone here and we've been catching some fish on both of these lately. Now if we can find a large concentration of fish here today, I really wanna try swinging a fly like last time, but we just haven't found that yet. We've only picked away at a couple and we've been covering a ton of river miles. So we're just gonna keep bushwhacking, keep hiking and see what we can find. This fish has been giving me a run for my money, guys. Holy smokes. This is a nice chrome fish. Finally, got, one, got her on the sand. Got her on the sand. Whew. All right, man. Well, it has not been easy today, that's for sure. We've covered a ton of river miles and we've just found a couple fish, but we're working hard and picking away at them and we're gonna get this beauty right back in the water. Guys, she's ready. <laughs> yeah, baby. All right, guys, we're gonna switch it up a little bit here. I think I'm gonna take one of these small pink or chartreuse woolly buggers or maybe a salmon fry. Let's do a salmon fry. Yeah, let's do a white salmon fry. I'm gonna try to swing a white salmon fry. A lot of people think you gotta run a bigger size streamer when you're swinging, but you really don't. You can swing these little patterns like this and they work really well. Let's see if we can catch one on it. Fish, guys, fish on the swing, on the swing, baby. On the swing, on the swing, on the swing, on the swing, I got it on my reel. Oh, it's a big cromer. Oh, it's a thick fish, guys. It's a thick fish and he's just head shaking. Oh, on the swing, baby, on the salmon fry, guys. I gotta get around this log here. I gotta get around this log. We got her, guys. We got her, baby. We got her, baby. Oh my goodness. Look at this, guys. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at that salmon fry pegged right in her beak. That was such a crazy hit and a crazy fight. Well, check out that fish, guys, on a swung fly. That just totally made my day, made my whole trip. Got one swinging, baby. Incredible fight, man. We're gonna get it right back in the water. Well, that right there, guys, that was the victim. That's all it takes. The tail was a little bit longer. The tail maybe came down to right about here and that fish bit it off, but it's all it takes. Sometimes smaller, the better. This log. He's underneath this log, guys. There we go. He's up. 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 
going down this next rapid. This little pin. Come on, baby. Come on, man. There we go, baby. I don't know how much you guys saw of that, but she popped off right at my feet. I was just going to grab her. I had actually had already touched her, and uh, she took off and just got wrapped around a stick and popped off, and she's back in the water. So quick release. I guess we'll go ahead and count that one. It's just such a wild, crazy environment. The forest is so unique, it has so much character to it, and the river is just so wild in how it flows just because this water and this land is just so untouched. A deep, lonely forest, accompanied by the howl of the gray wolf, has left me grounded. Grounded to appreciate the constant flow of joy that the river provides. It is true that the adventure is the prize, and as I continued to cast throughout the day, I couldn't help but feel a deep level of gratitude to be able to experience the environment I was currently living in. This spring, I have spent my free time exploring countless miles of remote waters in both Canada and the United States. Although many of these trips have resulted in fishless days, it is the pure joy of every little moment along the way which inspires me to keep exploring. Although the stars have aligned today, it doesn't mean they will tomorrow. Today I am grateful for the fish I have caught, but tomorrow my joy for adventure will prevail and I will set out to explore a new river. There's one, there's one, there's, oh, he came off, came off and shot it up into the top of the tree. Oh my goodness gracious. That was a good fish too. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's wrapped. That's wrapped. Kiss that one goodbye. There's a fish, guys. There's a fish. There's a fish right out in front of me. That's a Karomi, too. Oh my gosh, I got so much slack out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at that thing thrashing right in front of this log jam. I'm just putting it to it, guys. So I, I can't get on my reel yet here. So I'm fighting the fish with my hands. The line, you can see this fish is just thrashing in front of this log jam. Oh my gosh, it's Karomi, too, guys. I'm trying to really. Oh my gosh, it's a standoff right now. I'm just gonna fight the fish with my hands, guys. This is why it's so much fun fishing like this. It is so much fun fishing like this. But I fought that fish with just my hands as long as I could. You never wanna give the fish slack. You always wanna make sure you have pressure on that fish and fight the fish with your hands as long as you can. There we go, baby. There we go, baby. <laughs> That fish took me for all it was worth. Got one in. We've been getting our butts kicked in this hole, guys. And we're going to get her right back in the water here. 